I figured I'd make this video to show people how to use, uh, how to create and use modifiers. It's pretty simple with uh, Microsoft 3D Builder. Um, you can just use any any image and convert it into a STL, a multicolor STL. So if you go into 3D Builder, you add an image, say this Hello Kitty image automatically converts it into a 3D model. Um, just select it, ungroup it, delete the parts you don't want by double clicking on them. And then you see it doesn't have the black. So you just add the image again. Then you inverse the image or in, and import that. And then you can move it around. Uh, let's settle the image so it's on the build or on the plate. And then line it up. I'm on a slow computer right here, but let's see if I can get it to line up. Sometimes you have to turn uh, snapping off get it to line up perfectly. There you go, so you have your, your model. Go ahead and save that. Because you're gonna have to reload it after you slice it up in the parts. So now I want to delete all the other colors. And I'm gonna make Oh, missed the nose. Oh, there we go. No, can't seem to get that uh that yellow. There we go. So got the black. I'll save that as STL black. Yes, then I'll open it again. This time I'll take black, delete that. Now let's do the white. And this will save the position when you load it into your slicer so everything will be grouped together. Let me save that as white. Reload it again. So we have the black and the white done. Get rid of those. I'll do the pink. And open it up again, and then one last time for the yellow. Deleting everything. I assume you can just import this in your slicer as a 3MF, but when I post them online, it's just easier to break them up into uh, STLs. And then the final one is yellow. You can use any color you want. Doesn't need to match, right? Doesn't need to match the original image, so you can change that around however you like. So then you just go into Bamboo Studio or Orca or whatever slicer you're using. And let's go ahead and I will Let's go in here. Let's 
Go on the modifiers. I guess I could have loaded it from the, I'll just load like an iPhone case. And then I'll add the modifier, I'll load it. And you have to make sure you're selecting them all so that it groups them together. And there you go, you have your modifier that you can move around. Let me um, go into objects and I'll color them black, oh, pink, white, yellow. Now I can select them all, um, scale them, rotate it, and then you push it in. However, like however far you want it, maybe just a layer to save on filament. Slice the plate. Let's see if I got it in there. There you go. It's not centered, but you get the idea. Easy to do.